Hey gang, welcome back to Opal's Workshop. As I said in my last video, I'm going to start restoring some of my old die cast cars for my grandsons. And I showed this was the first one. It is a Corgi Toys Bedford CA van made in the late 50s early 60s from what I could find out so let's get started and if you like this video go ahead and hit that subscribe button let's get started the car is in pretty good condition about 80 percent or better of the paint is gone and it looks like somebody stepped on it at one time and uh, got the rear end almost dragging the metal how we take it apart is this little rivet here we've got to drill it out carefully pop this loose and then the rest of it's held by this little flange in the back here so let's get started drilling After you get your rivet drip drilled out, I like to take a little punch and separate it. And there you have it. Now when you're drilling out these rivets that hold the glass in, just don't press down too hard. Or you'll drill right through the roof. After you get it drilled out, and there's your glass. Not in too bad a condition. I got a slight crack here, but you can't get a lot of quirky parts, so I'll have to settle on this one. If anybody knows uh, where I can get a hold of somebody that has a complete line of quirky parts, please leave it in the comments below. After you get all the pieces off of the body of the die cast, you're going to put it in some paint stripper. And I like to use that orange citrus strip. I got hooked on it years ago. Uh, a little bit of background on that. A lot of people don't know that was invented for the automotive industry because guys were getting sick and dying in closed areas by using the old time strippers. So somebody invented this to save lives, I guess. Anyway, that's what I heard. Might be BS, but that's what I heard. Now my lovely assistant will now drop the car in the stripper. Thank you, lovely assistant. And Opa will close it up and let it do its business. While we're waiting on that paint to strip, we'll go ahead and put our windshield and our tires in some hot soapy water and get them soaking and scrubbed up. There's a little bit of schmutz in there after 60 years. Well, here it is, fresh out of the paint stripper. 
turned out great. I quickly put it on the wire wheel. This casting is really, really good condition. Next, I got to drill out and first clean up this post and drill it out and tap it for the little button head screw. Stay tuned. Next, we start working on that post, getting it cleaned up with a little needle file. Since I've got a clean post now, you can start the drilling of the post. Whoop. When you have it securely mounted, of course. Then you take your tap, always remember to back your tap up every couple of turns. Then you want to test fit your button head screw and there you have it. Since the axles are in such good condition, but I can't get the wheels off, and I don't want to tear it up. I'm just going to spray some satin clear enamel on the base on both sides. And after it's nice and dry, I'll uh, buff up the wheels. And get the tires ready. On the tires, I've scrubbed them down, and I thought I'd try something a little bit different than everybody else is doing. I'm gonna drop mine in some Armor All. Now that the body is all clean, wiped down numerous times, I'm going to hit it with a coat of gray primer. A lot of detail in this little casting. All right, gang. Here comes the fun part. Let's get some color on this bad boy. And yes, I'm using testers. Royal Blue Pearl. Okay, gang. Ready for a light second coat. Let that dry overnight and we'll get her back together.
All right, gang, we got her all ready for assembly. So let's get started. Last thing we got to do is dip the windshield in some mop and blow. Wick it off. Get the excess off. And let it dry. This little cover will fit over it. Keep the dust off of it. Alrighty. Let's see if we can get this puppy back together. Sorry for the interruption. Okay, those look pretty good. Wheels are nice and shiny and polished. Make sure I got them on good. Alrighty. Alright, set that aside. Window turned out super nice. Put a little dab of super glue in there. Sprinkle a little bacon soda on it. Let that dry a few minutes and I'll be right back. That's all nice and dry. One thing I do that nobody else does is I prob put a little dab of thread locker on because I don't want it to be taken off until it has to be restored again in a million years. Oh yeah, it even rides better. I don't know what their thoughts were when they put this base on originally but it's like real thin blued steel all right let's drive it on over and get some decals on it and we're all done
I'm going to add some of the detail in. Get my hands to stop shaking like a dog shitting peach seeds. gang I'd say it's time to put the finishing touches on this little bugger and get the decals on and the decals are ready to come off Oh uh, well. Might have just I think it turned out pretty good, except for I messed up the decal on the Y on the driver's side. But here it is, your Bedford CA Van Daily Express made by Corgi Toys. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you have any comments to what you'd like to see me restore next feel free to leave them in the comments below this is Opaw signing out